Welcome Cancers, I'm back y'all with another banging ass video <laughs> per request. I was going to do Cancers last, I don't know why I was just decided I was going to do Cancers last, but I had a multitude of messages of <laughs> when you going to drop the Cancer, see y'all used to me going in that sequence of I do all the signs together, but I'm switching it up a little bit, you know, we need a little bit of different energy flowing through here. We're going to sage y'all up. Ooh. Sage y'all up. Yes. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. Okay. Good vibes only. So we're going to see what messages we get for my from my cancers. I was about to say Capricorn. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Capricorn. <laughs> All right. So let's see. If y'all want to order Sage, guys, it is available on the website as well. Oh, I got to let y'all guys know I got the money back oil for you guys. Okay, a lot of y'all was asking about the money magnet oil. The money magnet oil is currently out of stock. Okay, so when it comes back available, I will put it back on the website. But right now, we got the money back oil. Okay, the money back oil. Yes, yes, yes. This is the real deal here, y'all. This has shredded money. <laughs> yes, yeah, shredded money in it. Um, a few different herbs, okay? A few different herbs to help you manifest abundance and prosperity. Like, you know, it's to get you the money back, all right? It's to help you advance, okay? As well, guys, everybody's been asking about a manifestation candle. I have that for you guys. Manifest that shit is on the website, okay? This is a manifestation candle, all right? It does have the money bag oil inside of it. Of course it does. <laughs> and it is lemongrass and sage scented, all right? So, and as well, guys, it's handmade. I hand make these, um, these oils as well as the candles, all right? So y'all can head over to the website once you're done watching the video and go ahead and purchase your candle and your oil, all right? As well, guys, I am doing the $20 mini read, all right? So, if you would like to book a personal with the Empress, you can do so. The contact information is in the drop box below, all right? Okay, Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords jumped out. Some type of truth being revealed. What's going on, Cancer? Let me say, I saged up, but let me, because <laughs> I just don't know. Like, I just feel like cancers, I don't know. Let's see. All right. Cancer. November the 9th through the 16th, okay? The King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy. The Empress, okay. <laughs> okay, the Nine of Cups. The Emperor, what? King of Swords, what? The Eight of Cups, okay. Y'all moving on. Y'all, are y'all with? Oh my gosh. Okay, so y'all have to be the bitch. Y'all gotta be that bad bitch. That bad. Y'all gotta cut somebody off. Y'all gotta let somebody go. Y'all been holding on to this person for some time now. Okay? You may have found out some truth, the reality about the situation, and you're deciding, like, I'm about to pack my shit up and leave. <laughs> You're waiting for this person to regret something that they said or did, an action that they took, but you want them to regret what they did, okay? And that's just what it is. <laughs> we got the King of Wands. There's a lot of, um, we got the King of Wands, the King of Swords, the Empress and the Emperor. Like, okay, like, what's going on? 
Why is the King of Wands here? Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Like I said, y'all cutting somebody off. Or you feel betrayed or stabbed in the back by this person. But I feel like you're cutting somebody off from communication. Maybe they call too much. I don't know. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah. The Ten of Swords and the Fool. Like, you're like, uh-uh. This ain't it. This ain't it, okay? Like, we're going to have to do either cut each other off for good or start fresh. But I need some new energy. Somebody could even, like, you might feel like this person has a, somebody on the side with the Queen of Wands. And this could kind of worry you a little bit. So you kind of, like, got your guard up. And you're going to keep it up. Yeah, there's a lot of endings here. Like, you guys are ending something with somebody. A connection, a bond that you have. Possibly with a Leo. We got the strength card here. There's been a lot of arguing and disagreements that you may find a hard time trying to balance out with the justice card. Okay. King of Pentacles. This person could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But this person just could be like, you're looking at your stability, your your money, your finances. So you're going to wait to make a decision with the lovers, okay? You know, intuitively, like you feel like, intuitively, you feel like this is going to get out of hand. Or it's already gotten out of hand. The tower, you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um... You're going to try to find a way to work to work this out. But I feel like for some of you, like, you feel like somebody's playing around. So you just, you're going to keep your guard up. You feel like they're playing with you. Like, don't play with me. Play with the kids. Don't play with me. Why is the nine of cups here? See, yeah, see, you want to know if this person is being sneaky and lying and cheating and, and whoo. Yeah, before you make your decision, before you make your final decision, you want to catch this person up. Like, you want to catch their ass. You you want to catch them red fucking handed. Mm -hmm. Why is the emperor here? The tower. Scorpio. Aries. Yeah, see. I'm here. I don't need your money. Four of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So somebody is trying to hold you hostage. <laughs> I'm getting. <laughs> they could be trying to hold you hostage. Like, you need me. The fuck I do. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> the King of Swords. You see, you, you was in your King of Swords mode. Yeah, you was in your King of Swords mode. Possibly like last week. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. Y'all both was being real. Y'all was saying some things to each other. Yeah, you're trying to find out what they're doing possibly at work or when you go to work. Your intuition is telling you that something's going on. Somebody's giving someone else money. You're trying to find out. Like, you're trying to find out something. You're trying to find out. Okay, now we got the Eight of Cups. Oh, you could be telling somebody that you're leaving. <laughs> you want to make them feel... <laughs> You want to make them feel some type of way. Like, I'm hearing like you want to get even. Um, you feel like somebody tried you, and I feel like you want to get even. You want to catch their ass red fucking handed. They try to tell you that you need them. You're trying to show them that you do not need them. I don't need you, boo-boo. <laughs> and if I do, I ain't going to tell you that. <laughs> I feel like you're telling someone that, you know, I'm 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 going to leave. I'm going to leave. If, you know, you don't treat me right, you don't treat me fair. And I feel like you're going to be trying to get even. 
you're waiting to see what this person is going to say. What, what, what do they have to say? Yep, you're waiting on a message from them for them to tell you how they feel. Tell the truth about what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. For some of you, there's a marriage involved. You you want to know? Do you want to be? Do you want to be together or do you want to be single? Do we want to live together or do we want to move out? Do, what's what's what it is? What it is? Because what I ain't finna do is be playing around with you. <laughs> I know that, Kansas. Y'all ain't playing. Y'all is not playing. Let me see what this person want to say to you. What do they want to say to my cancers? I'm avoiding our connection. But I feel so much love. I feel so much love for you. At the bottom, I'm going to tell you how I truly feel. So they plan on talking to you, telling you later how they feel. But they are avoiding they're struggling with something too send me love and healing i'm struggling let's take it slowly please okay so somebody here is avoiding the connection right now maybe they could be avoiding because they're becoming too attached or they're trying to yeah i don't have the energy to deal with this right now um they could be avoiding the connection because they feel like you guys are getting too close or you know, it's just something that could be making them feel uncomfortable. But they do want you to send them some love and healing energy. Like, they're struggling with something here. And they feel like they don't have the energy to deal with this situation right now. All right. So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.